Florida is home for two species of hognose snakes. The southern hognose snake, Heterodon simus, and the eastern hognose snake, Heterodon platyrrhinus. These two snakes are found in the same habitat, upland sand hill habitat such as this. And sometimes they can be found together and sometimes you'll find them separately. But they are definitely declining in Florida. Being that they're very fossorial, they like to be underground burrowing most of the time. The eastern hognose snake is above ground a little more than the southern hognose snake which the southern hognose snake stays underground a lot longer in periods of heat or cold. Let's take a look at these two snakes and let's look at the differences of them. They're very similar, but if you look at their actual body structure, you'll start realizing that they are quite different. The average adult size of Southern hognose and eastern hognose is quite different. Southern hognose obtain an adult length of about 22 inches, whereas eastern hognose snakes obtain an adult size of about 33 inches. So the eastern hognose snake can get considerably larger than the southern hognose snake. Here's a close up of the eastern hognose on top and the southern hognose on the bottom. As you can see, the southern hognose has a very, very upturned, sharper nose. The eastern hognose, not as much. That is one of your telltale factors right there. Differences in breeding of southern and eastern hognose snakes the eastern hognose snake will lay eggs twice a year. They double clutch. So you can find babies moving in midsummer and then again in the fall. But the southern hognose snake lays eggs only once a year towards the end of summer and they hatch in the fall. So babies can be found in the fall. Both snakes have a defensive behavior when you encounter a southern hognose snake, the first thing it does is flip itself into like a coil and its head will be pointy shaped, whereas the eastern hognose will hood or spread its neck like a cobra. The southern hognose snake will never do this. Its head always is in a pointed shape to represent a viper, I believe. It will also never open its mouth an eastern hognose snake will gape its mouth open as it spreads its neck. It spreads its neck to look larger and to be more intimidating. When it spreads its neck, it, part of its forebody also is spread, making the snake look larger and more intimidating. As I said, the southern hognose snake never opens its mouth. Out, out of the over 60 individuals I found over the years, I've never seen one open its mouth, not even in captivity. The only time it opens its mouth is to eat. The eastern hognose, as I said, gapes its mouth open, but it's not to bite, it's just to intimidate. This behavior gives these snakes names like puff adder, spreading adder, things of these natures by the locals in the areas that they're found in. Both species of hognose snakes, southern and eastern, will play dead if they're harassed, bothered, or disturbed, will roll over, play dead, smear feces all over their body, uh, their tongue will hang out, and when you try to flip them back over, they, they'll flip right back up, upside down, and play dead again. And they'll keep doing this until you leave them alone and they feel that they're safe and then they'll just crawl away. The coloration of a southern hognose snake is pretty much consistent from a, a tannish gray to a grayish background color with dark blotches. 
and sometimes a little splash of color on its back its dorsal of either yellowish pinkish and and there's some morphs in florida georgia and south carolina that have a red coloration and that looks pretty awesome actually call them red simus those are like one in ten to find now the eastern hognose snake is highly variable their pattern is consistent but you can also see some patterns that are broken up and there's also a melanistic phase all black which southern hognose snakes have never been documented to have an all black phase the eastern hognose snake coloration can be highly variable from yellows to greenish to reds orange and these snakes do occur in florida in different locales once in a while but the majority of eastern hognose snakes in florida are a grayish uh, darker color tan um, and the black phase is very often seen when the baby hognose is born it'll have a pattern and this pattern changes to black as it grows up it's hard to tell when they're young exactly which ones will i've kind of over the years by looking at these and seeing them i can kind of tell but it's it's not always easy let's take a look at some examples of southern hognose snakes first and then eastern hognose snakes
I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful in differentiating the two different species of hognose snakes, southern and eastern.